struggling with your impact position, I want you to think about two things. You're going to always let your right elbow work ahead of your right wrist. Many golfers struggle with the right arm straightens too abruptly into the downswing. Right elbow always gets behind the right wrist, flip the last head. You want to maintain the bend in the right arm for a split second longer into the downswing. So when we get to the top of the backswing, your pressure is going to move into your left foot. Your left hip is going to stay down in transition. Always going to allow your right elbow to work ahead of your right wrist. That's going to maintain the bend in your right arm for a split second longer. So right elbow in front of the right hip, keep the bend in the right arm for longer and allow that right wrist to stay in an extended position where it's facing the ground for a fraction of a second longer into the downswing. So right elbow working ahead of your right hip, the elbow always leads the wrist. The right elbow always leads the wrist, so right elbow in front of the right hip, keep the bend in the right arm for longer and always feel like you're keeping your right palm down towards the ground for a fraction of a second longer. If you struggle with the right palm facing the sky too abruptly, club head hits the ground before impact and you struggle with thins. When the right palm goes towards the sky, we class that as a scoop, catch the ball thin, we hit the ball heavy and we don't create a lot of consistency. So think about the opposite of the palm going towards the sky and the right arm straightening too quickly. It's keeping the bend in the right arm for longer and allowing the right palm to face the ground for a fraction of a second longer into the downswing. That's going to maintain the bend in the right arm and it's always going to encourage the elbow to lead the wrist. You're going to rehearse your impact position. My hands are always going to lead the club head and my wrist is always going to be ahead of the fingers as I come through impact. So elbow first, wrist second, fingers third. So elbow first, wrist second, fingertips third. And that's going to enable you to create ball turf contact. That three step combination is going to help improve your impact conditions. The guide is going to help you launch your irons a little bit lower and enable you to create ball turf contact and improve the consistency that everyone wants to achieve.